how did you get here? Tell us. This feels like a graveyard. Maria, we need to talk. We need to talk, kids. It's becoming uh, a hopeless situation in this house and it's killing us. I am not in the mood to talk. Because as soon as I pick the kids from school, we're going for a long vacation. I guess that will make you see life differently. School. What? This is not a shriek. Princess I married. You're way far from it. Couples fight, they disagree, yet they make up. But as they do, we have a little issue in this house. It lingers and lingers and why? Because someone has refused to make up the path. Please allow me to enjoy this. Because I'm not ready to bandy what's with you. Really? Yes. We're going to talk. And we're talking right now. And what does talking about a hopeless situation done to change a hopeless situation, huh? You tell me. Are you listening to yourself? Are you listening to yourself too? As couples, we should once in a while sit down and trash out our issues instead of giving malice and, and, and give it to ourselves and, and pretend that all is fine. What's wrong with you? Fine! Since you won't let me enjoy this, have it. Eat the food. Since you won't let me, have the meal. I should come to the hotel. I need to go pick up the kids first. Hello? Hello? Hello?
Divorce is not an option. And nobody's committing murder. Look, the, the children are the only reason I'm still here. Because Maria, as far as I'm concerned, is useless to me. You know, so it's best I bid my goodbyes to this marriage and move on with my life. Are we all meeting to talk about this? At least? No. No way, I'm not meeting, we're not talking about this. You know how she can get. So it's a no. I want a divorce, not a settlement. Okay, I'll dial her number back to me. That's fine. Have we met before? Yeah, 
understand him. Uh, uh, the court isn't that much, or uh, it's about seven million. Yes, after we had to leave one. Okay.
Since the beginning of this day, so my classes, I have been the one picking them from here. So how can you be telling me that a driver came to pick them up? Yes, it was an order from your wife that the kids be released to a man with a certain code. So, when he presented the code, we tried calling your wife. She didn't take her calls. Uh, the man made mention of the kids are going on vacation, that they need to leave. So, we allow them. Is there something wrong, sir? To believe you now. Huh? See, you're just a, a bloody liar. A useless woman, that's who you are. Baby, why are you making these things sound as if they are not also my kids? I love them as much as you do. So please just calm down, we'll find a solution to this. Fine. I'm informing the police right away. No. No. Please leave the police out of it for now. Maria, why do, I, why do I have a feeling that you're with these kids? The kids are not with me. Yes, I got the code. I gave it out. Then someone else got it and kidnapped the kids. So just give me a little time. I'll, I'll figure it out. That's the more reason why we should tell the police so that they can start doing something before it gets out of hand. Please, please. Just, just give me an hour. Just give me an hour. I think everything will be all right. You, you. You sound really troubled. Where are you? Okay, you know what? I'll call you back. Hello, Maria. Hey, hey, hey. Maria, hello? Remember the plan. Once you pick up the kids from school tomorrow, we all head for the vacation. Don't worry. I will send you the code from the headmaster. Send me the code right now. Sure, babes, I will. Tomorrow then. <laughs> B 
babe. Is everything okay? Yeah. It's a case beyond medical interpretation. Oh, my God. What a pity. Maybe let's go inside. So why did you have to come all the way to take the call? Excuse me. Must you suspect every move I make? Woman, just answer my question. What question? Excuse me. Good night. is wrong somewhere. Nothing just happens. Someone knows more than who. You know, under normal circumstances, the police should be involved in this case. Not yet, Harrison. Why, Jerry? These are my cousin's children. They're mine too. You know, Jerry, I am actually beginning to suspect foul play. Because in one day, your kids get kidnapped. Your wife is not picking her call. Her whereabouts is not known. And you're so calm about this whole situation. Listen, I, I, I know nothing about all of this. She only said that... She only said what? What did who say? You know what, Sandra, I did not come here to answer questions. I only came to tell you that you're, you're causing... And our kids are missing. I mean, that's the best I can do. You know, you're such a heartless man. Well, being heartless is painless in this useless marriage. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. Really? I see your action is driving us to the truth, Jerry. Really? Everything will be all right. I'm working on it. How do you mean you're working on it? Your husband told me everything. Everything? Okay, where exactly are you? Babe, I am worried. We are all worried. Let me call you back. Thank God they didn't hurt you. 
Please, let's go inside. Oh no, I have to go inside. No, no, no. Let's go inside. Somebody will get you. Jerry, I told you not to inform the police yet. What, what the hell are you talking about, Mary? What? My kids are missing. You are nowhere to be found and you don't want me to involve the police? You're a joker. You messed up everything. Jerry, you messed up everything. Everything. No, you messed up everything. You messed up everything. You destroyed everything we shared. Now you see what all those midnight calls have, have resorted to. For your information, I am going upstairs right now to pack my things and I'm leaving this house in search of my kids. Do me a favor, Maria. Stop bugging my line. Stop! Please, can I talk to the DBO, please? Hello, sir. Fine. I, I have an emergency. No, no, no. It's not something I can discuss over the phone. Okay. I'll be there in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes. Sandra, like, when did you start advising couple to stay together? Since I got married myself. Your husband might not be everything you want in a man. But no matter how bad it is you have. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sandra, like seriously? You invited me here to discuss my husband. Listen, I'm listening good. Don't you ever, I mean, ever try that in your life because if you do, you will not like what I'll do to you. us from the father of this people, one Mr. Jerry Michael, says his wife, Mrs. Maria Jerry Michael, a renowned doctor in town, has a hand in the kidnap. The police are currently looking for the missing kids and Dr. Maria. How? Baby. Don't ever call me that name again. Jerry, I just watched the TV now. You accused me of having a hand with the kid now. Me? I, I didn't, I, I did no such thing. I, I didn't give out any information like that. The only person I've spoken to is Sandra. Jerry, you have killed me. You, you have destroyed my reputation. Everything I worked for, you have finished me. Jerry, how can you accuse me of having a hand in the kidnap? How? Listen, baby, I, I know we have been through a lot lately. But please, if you can just put aside all, all that we have been through. And just come home. We we need to be together to find our kids, please. 
I love you. I always have, I still do love you. I thought you said no one knew about this yet. I've been calling you. Sorry. Take it to the booth for me. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Good day, sir. Good day. There's some, there's some men outside. They want to see you, sir. Oh, men. Yes, sir. They say they want to see you, sir. Oh, okay. Let them come in. And this is Detective Bala. We're from the CCID. We want you at the station right now. 
can you now wait till another day? I, I've got really pressing issues to sort out today. I'm sorry, sir. You must come with us right now. Please. Aye. After you. You do not recall my face, but I stayed my voice. I'm sorry, who are you? I can't remember you or, or who you are. Doing all this. You should know the secret between two people remaining secret, even when one of them dies. Well, certainly not three of us. Not three of us? How do you mean? Belly and I have been friends for a while. I'm sure you know Belly. Sorry, um, who is Belly? Dead body lying before you was called Belly of Blessed Memory. He was a friend. He asked me for a favor, which I did for that bastard. He was trying to play the first one on me, but I fixed him. So, how does that concern me and my children? Your children. Everything Belly did, he did because of you. But do not worry. I have everything figured out. You'll be fine. As for your children, listen to Sarah. Mommy, where are you? I need you. Stop! Please stop it! Stop it! Don't touch them! Please, I beg you! Please! Okay. Are you? Are you not ready to tell me the secret between you and Bali? There's no secret between us. Nelly was just my patient. Patient, you say? Mm-hmm. Was it sick or, or what? That was what I was about to find out before I got stuck in the room at the guest house. I'm sorry for that. Maria, but you know you are such a terrible liar. You look so calm, but you are so deadly. Get out of my phone, you bloody liar. Hey, hey. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not a kidnapper here. I have no hand in my kids' kidnapping. Absolutely no hand. I'm trying to believe you. But every finger is pointing to you now. You threaten your wife due to the constant and several quarrels you guys have had. And you probably knew she was going to elope with the kids. That was why you planned the kidnap for that same day. Oh, so that's a lie. That's a lie, absolutely. Are you going to tell me the truth or not? I have told you the truth. Everything I know, I am innocent. You have no, you have no reason holding me here. Okay. Why did you change the name of your kids after the fact? Oh. 
Maria. Why? Why what? Why did you change the kid's name? Please, I don't know what you're talking about. What you do? It's all in the papers. You change their names. Why? Why would you do a thing like that? You see why I, I, I find it difficult to trust you. And I do not trust you either. Just so you know that I'll be traveling with the kids. You, you, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. You can travel with them if you want. But I want you to know that I love you. Maria, regardless of your imperfections, I I really do love you. Stop. Just stop it. Why why would you change their names? Why? We're not even letting me know. So you quickly agreed because you had a game plan. I love my wife. I love my family so much and I would, I would do anything to please my family. I agree to please my wife. Now my, my kids are somewhere in the hands of someone who might be hurting them now. I am not the man you are looking for. Let me go. You should be helping me look for my kids. Let me go look for my kids. Even the worst criminal can be this dramatic. You remain here while the investigations are on. You look very worried. You look like you look very tensed. What's going on? There's nothing to worry about. I'll be traveling tomorrow morning. I, you're traveling tomorrow morning? I mean, okay. So what's the occasion? There is this urgent meeting I need to attend in Abuja. But Ali, you know that you can always talk to me. I don't know, I just, just feel like all is not well. What is it? Please, tell me. I can help you. This is my problem with you. You worry too much. Besides, what am I even doing with you? Please. Charlie. Sandra. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. But it's been a very stressful day. How do you mean? The kids. Been kidnapped. The husband in custody. And then now, my husband. Your husband? 
What happened to him? He's missing. How? How is that possible? Well, I should ask you. Considering the fact that it was your call he last received before he left the house. And now his phones are switched off. I'm sorry, Sandra. Are you in any way accusing me of your husband missing? Yes. Actually, yes. Because ever since I got married to Bali, you have been a very nice distraction. Oh, don't get it twisted, Sandra. I was dating him first before you seduced him to your bed. And he put a ring on it. He married me. Why didn't you just stick with your own man? Hmm, <laughs> Sandra. Right from when we were kids, I hated you. So I have no regrets for my actions. The feeling is mutual. I'm going to ask you, where were you on the 28th of March? Sorry, I don't give such dates. Well, let me refresh your memory on the events that led to the 28th of March. Am I married to a wife or a knife? Why would you even talk to me like that? What has come over you? Everything. Everything has come over me. Look, I cannot take this anymore. I cannot take this anymore. Somebody gave that to me. Someone gave that to me. Look, my lineage cannot end like this because I'm married to a barren woman. Don't you dare call me names. Why would you call me a barren woman? What proof do you have? If you need me to submit myself for a medical checkup, I will. But until then, do not call me names because I am not barren. Fine. Tomorrow morning. Go to the hospital. Rubbish. You told me everything was cool between us. Yet you go ahead and make such dangerous plans. On the 20th of March, you hooked up with my husband. I, I, I don't get it. You mean my wife is barren? Yes, she is. Her womb was destroyed, I guess, when she did one or two abortions back in the days, you know. But she can't make babies. But for all time's sake, I can't tell her. You know, um, because if I do, it's going to break her. You know what's going to happen? I will send you a message of what is wrong with her so you can look it up so you keep an eye on her. Right? So. What becomes of me now? Relax. Relax, baby boy. <laughs> we continue from where we start from our university days. Because my husband has the same problem. His sperm is not productive. So, I have you back to myself right now. <laughs> Of all the men in the world, it had to be my man. You didn't find any other man to sleep with other than my husband. You took Bali away from me. I was on the streets, but he loved me though. You were my chief bridesmaid. You were at my wedding. <laughs> Sandra, which wedding? The eve of the so-called wedding I was with your husband. I know. I know everything. I don't think so. You would be a fool to think that I do not know what you have been up to. I've just been waiting for the right time. You know, Ali doesn't have head for our goal. It wasn't so difficult to get him talking. After you guys got back from Hotel de Go, Hotel Lego. How how did you know? How did you know about that? Never underestimate the power of an angry wife. And as for all you out there 
sleeping with married men. I know we and I wanted to. I have an important message I wanted to give you. Sweetie, I need to go. You know the dream. She start suspecting me and you know it. Just send it as a text message. Mm. Okay. Sweetie, I love you so much, huh? Yeah? And I love you too. <laughs> oh. mm. about anything give Bali alcohol his happiest moment was his weakest a smart woman you've always been you had sex with your husband specifically to sell the great news effectively and efficiently and then you broke the news to him.
The drugs I've been taking has been able to restore my fortunes. Oh, yes! Oh, yes, baby, I'm pregnant! This is great news! You thought you had everything all planned out. But you were wrong. I waited six years to plan this. You know, as a professional lawyer, I wouldn't leave any traces. You know that, right? Good. Sandra, you're wicked. So you're behind all this. The heart of man is desperately wicked. I know. You should know that too. You know, every time I had the opportunity to go close to his home, I couldn't hold myself. And every time I went through that film, I saw something new. Every single time. Same night he told me he was traveling to Abuja on a business trip. But the message on his phone had Ghana first and his next destination. And I also found out that you and the kids were all traveling to Canada, a country he made me believe he never liked. But little did he know I had my visa ready. So I left the room that night. one of my most trusted ally. We all had a game plan. First, I gave him the code. Just like you, he got a message from Hotel Lego that you were waiting for him at your usual guest room. I sent that message. He looked worried. Why such a message? He rushed to his death because Ben was there to face him. He was stabbed to death. Sandra, you're very wicked. I know. I know Ben and his men tracked the headmaster's wife and took the kids from school. Why do you have to get my children involved in all this? They are not your children. <sighs> You know, six years. Six years was enough to plan all this. To go beyond every shadow of doubt. I knew your husband might try to stop me. So I confronted him. Are you saying that you do not know anything about the disappearance of the kids? How else am I supposed to say it? I do not know. Did you confirm those kids are really yours? Because my cousin told me that you were impotent. Excuse me? I'm just saying you should confirm. If, if, this, if the kids are not mine, then whose kids are they then? Ask your wife. I told the police that he was a suspect. And I gave them proof. Which proof are you talking about? The proof. When you and my husband tried to change the children's name 
Remember, I handled that, right? You know, while your husband is awaiting trial and you held hostage at Hotel Lego, I and my kids, in a few hours from now, will be long gone. Sandra, I promise you, wherever you take my children to, I will find you and I will take them back. You're not going to find me because you'll be busy serving jail term. You know, there is a dead body right in front of you. And the police, I'm sure, will soon be with you. My darling, the evil that men do lives with them. I will find them. <laughs> story.